Hey, what is going on guys? This is ZK and welcome to this video where I'll explain a little bit about zoning. Uh, it seems to me like around on uh, uh, zombies websites like Custom Zombies uh, here on my YouTube channel, I get a lot of messages uh, regarding zoning issues. People like their their map will start and the rounds will be skipping. They'll buy the first door. Nothing, you know, zombies won't come from the the uh, second zone and things like that. Seems like people just, uh, they're not understanding uh, the zones and how they work. So I'm gonna teach you a little bit of the basics of zones. So here we have the basic layout of a map. Uh, you know, obviously there's more areas than this, but I'm just saying the basic layout, whereas you have your start zone, buy a door, get to this area, buy a door, get to this area, buy a door, get to this area, you know, blah, 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 blah. blah. So that's what this is, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so um, according to what this uh, map says, you start in the start zone, okay? You buy the door and you go into zone two. Zone two will start spawning in. And then you'll go into zone three and you'll start uh, spawning zombies in zone three. And then you have everything unlocked, right? So in order for these zones to work, you have to define your start zone first. Uh, some people use initial zone. I like to use start zone. So you have your start zone here and you wanna make sure that up here where it says initial zone, zones you want activated at map start. Make sure you have uh, your starting zone there, like start zone is way, the way I have it. Um, now, the way that the the down here, these adjacent zone functions work, is you're defining uh, what zones are next to each other. Because obviously the scripts have no idea what's going on in the map, like the positioning of the zones. So you have to tell it which zones are where, so that let's say, for example, you're in zone 2. It knows that you're in zone 2, and zone 3 and uh, start zone are right next to it. But it also knows that if you're in the start zone, that zone two is next to you, but zone three isn't. So if you're in the start zone, it won't be spawning any zombies in zone three, or if it does, it'll spawn you know only a couple at the beginning of the round, because that way you keep all the zombies where your players are. You see what I'm saying? So that's why you have to add these adjacent zones and stuff. That's why the game does that, or the and the mod does that, because you don't want zombies spawning on the opposite sides of the map. So these adjacent zones right here, as you can see the first one, I'm defining start zone, zone two. So what I'm saying is, start zone, and then zone two is right next to it. So then when I when it hears the command enter zone two, then you're gonna be, uh, well, that, that enter zone two command is a script flag thing, and I explained that in my other zoning video. Uh, that's what you put on the trigger to activate zone two. So that right there just means that you're activating zone two. So you don't have to worry about that too much right now. Zone, or start zone, uh, is right next to zone 2. Now right here I'm defining that zone 2 is right next to zone 3, which is right here, okay? You see that? So you need to define where uh, the zones are uh, if they're and they're next to each other and things like that. So let's say you have a map layout like this. Oops, wrong one, my bad. There we go. <laughs> let's say you have a map layout like this. Okay, you can see we have start zone right here, but you have two options. You can go this way, or you can go this way. Now, how do you do this, right? Because right here, you can see that I'm already defining that start zone is right next to zone two. How do you def how do you make it so that you can go this way and, and, and et cetera? You do this. Down here, this code right here is the saver. Now, I don't think it's perfect. Uh, it probably wouldn't, it might not work if you got in game, I don't know, but I'm just using this as an example because I'm teaching you uh, the layout of zones and how they work in the scripts. So you can see right here, I'm defining this just like before, defining that start zone is right next to zone two. But then right after that, I'm also defining that start zone is right next to zone four. So you can see there that once I purchase this trigger, uh, for with if you have the script flag enter zone four, then it'll activate zone four and you'll be in here. Now the next line, I'm defining that zone three is right next to zone two, which is true. So you have zone two and zone three. So we know, or so the game knows that zone two is right next to zone three. And here I'm defining that zone four right here is right next to zone three. So therefore, if you're in zone three, the game will spawn zombies, a little bit of zombies here, a little bit of zombies here, but the majority of them will be in here and it probably won't spawn any over here. And if you're in zone two, I have it defined that uh, zone two is right next to the start zone and that uh, zone three is right next to zone two. 
So if you're in zone two, it'll spawn a little zombies here, little zombies here, most of them here, and there you go. So that is the basics really of how this adjacent zone business works. I hope this helped you guys out, uh, this quick little video here. Uh, but you, you know, it, I can see how it'd get confusing. I didn't understand it all when I first started mapping either. I had to basically learn it by, by a trial and error, I guess you could say. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, be sure to keep on the lookout for Prison Mission, the beta. Is, is almost out. Um, we're recording some Samantha lines for Player 4 because Player 4 is going to be Samantha. So we'll have two custom playable characters in this map, and I can't wait for you guys to hear them. They're turning out so awesome. I really enjoyed recording the the uh, lines and everything for it, and it, it I think you guys are just going to have a lot of fun with it and the Black Ops 2 perks and things like that that are going to be in the map. But that is all I'm going to say, and I will see you guys on my next video. This is ZK signing off.